What's up, Taurus? Welcome to General What's Coming Towards You in April 2023. This is going to be for the month of April. I'm going to pull some cards for you for love, um, finances, and see what happens. I'm going to get you an oracle for um, the entire month so you can feel that energy or get in that energy. Um, and then we're going to do some tarot just to see what's the past, present, and future in April 2023. Here we go, Taurus. Regarding love, what we got with Taurus? Mm. Release your ex, Taurus. The time has come to clear your energy. If you're thinking about an ex, yeah. And then flirt, extend your uh, lighthearted energy to others. One more for Taurus, or are we good with two? One, three. Guess we're only gonna do two, Taurus. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I have re reconciliation from the romance angel. Someone from your past is returning to your life, so that might be happening as I put the deck down. Um, but what Spirit wants to talk about is this. So you might have to release an ex. You might be thinking about an ex. An ex might be around you that's why maybe this makes sense um the reconciliation now it doesn't mean that you have to come back to an ex it means that maybe there's an ex trying to chase you around trying to make your life a little hard and play with your energy your feelings your head um i want to say that you know sometimes when we when we know that it's the end of a relationship we got to put our big boy big girl pants and, and say that's it no more hurting you know if you guys had a for some reason i'm getting like if you guys had like a really rough past why would you want to like go back into that same cycle okay um i feel like there's someone else there's someone else out here for you better with this flirt um card and i think you're gonna find that once you release the x and you start flirting with others you start not necessarily flirting but i'm getting like just talking to other like being yourself like not overthinking about the past um love experience but like actually being yourself and actually offering yourself remember when we carry something from the past we don't really offer ourselves to the fullest we offer when we have this this energetic tie in our head to a past person that you know hurts us or keeps us um in this position where we think love failed and and and, and we don't believe in that anymore we offer ourselves to the new partner with that so imagine like you know getting an apple and having like a bad spot on it that's you okay so for you to offer yourself all the way as a you know like a fresh uh juicy um crispy apple um, is you releasing that past hurt and, and, and that letting that go and, and, and being, um, a fresh being you, just you and nothing from the past. Okay. I don't know if you understood that, but I'm, I'm trying my best anyways. Um, that's what I got for love for you. We're going to see what, what I got for finances. How's your, your finances? Um, or your, this is going to be for finances and your work situation. Okay. Whether you're employed, self-employed unemployed whatever you know this card uh virgo got it they also got the reconciliation that's funny one more one more four Taurus. that is very very weird um because two cards popped out out of the deck they flew out and the same two cards came out for virgo in the month of april so you might be dealing with with uh, virgo or maybe the energies for like earth signs are kind of the same um i'm gonna start with this the, this one because this is what virgo got okay and don't be scared loss there's gonna be a, a somewhat of a loss um for you taurus regarding like finances maybe work maybe work is gonna slow down maybe your money your paycheck is gonna be a little bit shorter here in the month of april but don't worry because it's just temporary okay um you have work smarter and it could be due to that one loss um here that you're doing new you're, you're implementing new strategies to your work um flow to your your employment to your um if you're self-employed whatever it is that you're selling promoting you're putting a a, a new face and that have putting a change in in things 
say like putting a change in the way you work on your workflow or the way you sell things or the way you just if you do e-commerce and you're trying to do a new strategy here and you know sometimes it's, it's, it's gonna be a loss you're not gonna see the the, the difference right away but because you you're, you are changing your whole algorithm whether it's you or the system you're working with it's just gonna uh, go down and then it's gonna go up right um, I suggest you study um, what you're doing really good and you know if, if it feels right to you go ahead and do it you can only um, you can only know if you try right and you I have the unique self so this is you this is you choosing to um, work you know smarter and not harder you see these people are working hard you're not anymore you open your eyes you're seeing you're getting downloads on how to achieve what you want in this in this in this lifetime okay so I feel like your uniqueness is what brings what is gonna bring you this this um, this new face and the way you make money okay so if you do if you're expecting a loss here let me see what this loss is about let me clarify this loss okay just for you because I know a lot of people don't like to see shoot I wouldn't like to see that card okay let's see uh, clarify the loss too many come on clarify loss for toys there we go oh my goodness keep this deck is super slippery Okay, hold on. Clarify the loss for Taurus. This deck is super slippery. I'm not trying to get like 20 cards, so just one card for the loss. What are we talking about with this loss card deck? Spirit Angels. So, yeah, maybe you're just, it's not even about work. Maybe you're just gonna go into a, into a, um, somewhat of a spending spree treating yourself and that's gonna lead to a little bit of loss and i feel like it's not even that bad because you deserve everything you get for yourself okay as long as you can afford it i mean you deserve all that you got to treat yourself at one point right in life so i think um work is gonna be great uh work smarter means that you're gonna stand out from everybody you're gonna stand out um uh, to your employer, you, you know, the, the, the ideas you're getting, the way you are, the way you work, um, how unique you are, um, it's, you're going to stand out here, Taurus, okay? You're going to stand out. And, um, but although you have this loss of, I will say, finances, money, stocks, or whatever, is because you're treating yourself. So you might buy a car, you might buy a house, you might buy something that, you know, you know that it's going to cost you some money, but at the same time, it's like, um, you're getting something out of it so i feel like it's, it's good again like the energy didn't feel that bad when i did virgos and virgos was i forgot what it was but i clarified virgos too but anyways let's see what's let's see what's in the past for you okay let me get a card for the past and this is going to be general past what is the past here for taurus mm, okay in the past, I, I, I see you very, very busy, Taurus. Um, I see you working long hours, but also trying to accommodate everybody around you. I see you kind of wanting to take a break from everything and, and, and doing everything the easiest, like the easiest way or the fastest way so you can have that break for yourself. I feel like you try to uh, plan pretty much um, your entire month in the past or your year, and you're now trying to, you know, trying to cut cor corners so be careful if, if you're doing that don't don't well this is in the past so um try not to cut that many corners <laughs> if it's still going on in the present um because the plans that you made or you know all the all the plans you made if you really want to achieve them the right way um you, you you can't cut corners right so let me see what's going on in the present you got the seven of swords as far as like the past and I feel like if this is if this is regarding maybe to an ex then there was a lot of cheating lying a lot of sketchy energy um here um in the past um Taurus so the, the, this might actually be something that um goes back to this um ex person someone that kind of puts you in a really bad spot um someone that really how they say in Spanish no tiene vergüenza you know like it's it's, it's like someone that just didn't appreciate you they didn't consider your feelings they just they straight out just 
put you out there, you know, in a bad spot and, and, and they don't care about all that. I'm sorry that I'm putting it that way, but that's what I'm getting here. Let me see what's going on in the present for April 2023. April 2023. Don't cut corners. Please don't cut corners at work, okay? Or anything like that. Okay. All right. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this um, right now, it's like you're fully invested in whatever it is. If it's um, healing yourself, you're fully invested in this because you know you... The, the outcome from healing yourself regarding this past person is going to be real. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest um, Knight of the of them all, but when it, it, it will get there eventually, okay? That's the difference, that the, the Knight of Pentacles will get to the exact position that you send it to, okay? The, you know, the the, the, the Knight of Wands will be all over the place. The, the Knight of Swords will also be all super fast and kind of go way too far um, to the location that it needs to go. The Knight of Cups is like, eh. the Knight of Cups is going to take, I feel like it's going to go fast, but it's going to take their time to smell the flowers, but eventually they'll get there. But um, I have here the um, the Knight of Pentacles for you, and I feel like in whatever it is that you're putting your work on in, it's going to pay off. You know that it's going to pay off. So in everything right now in April for you might feel like, oh, things are moving slow. You know, the, the job, the career the 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 uh, the business that you have it's moving slow but i want you to know that um things are gonna get better okay let me clarify this let me clarify this um this knight of pentacles if this is about love i feel like although you're um you're out there and 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 you're probably open to finding someone you know that it's gonna take a little bit of time because you're still hurting from the past okay taurus but i'm gonna see what this this knight of um where where this knight of Knight of Pentacles is leading us to, okay? Let's see, Taurus. Where is this Knight of Pentacles leading us towards? Ooh, I knew it. So, um, in the present time for April, um, you have um, uh, something that you're working towards actually finding your your twin flame, your, your, your soulmate, someone that is really, 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 really going to... Um, love you here like the real connection the real person you're not playing games you're not you know you're not dealing with any of those like uh you know wanna be gangsters or whatever you know you you're looking deep down into the heart the passion the soul of this person that you're you're trying to connect with okay and if they don't match that criteria you're not going to deal with them i feel like you know also intuitively to wait and you're gonna find maybe your twin flame or your soulmate, okay? As far as regarding love, regarding career, um, Taurus, I feel like you gotta stay consistent on what it is that you're doing right now. Stay consistent, do not stop, do not overthink, do not, you know, doubt that you're gonna get to that point because the lovers is if regarding financial, if the knight, knight of pentacles gets to the lovers, that means that whatever it is that you work. Or you're working on or you kept working on it's definitely gonna fulfill you down to the soul so if you were doing some kind of um i don't know let's say um if you're doing like um maybe um youtube or maybe something in instagram or or maybe like a self-employment something at your local flea market or whatever it, it, it it's gonna take off and it's gonna fulfill everything in you so i feel like if you keep if you keep going um, towards, you're gonna get to that point, 100%. You you will get to that. Also, the lovers is, is a um, a decision, okay? So you might get to the point where you can you have to decide whether to be self-employed or to be um, employed here or to continue being employed with somebody, okay? I feel like even if you're employed with someone, I feel like there's there's a level up that you're gonna love, and by level up, I mean like maybe a another career path or another level maybe a um, bonus or maybe some kind of something that is going to fulfill you more than what you're doing right now okay because you put you put in the work remember that you're putting you have to put in the work nine of pentacles to me sometimes gave me a, gives me anxiety because it's so slow <laughs> but when it gets it it gets here okay let's see here let's see in the future what we got in the future what do we got in the future boom okay nice 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 here we got here we go here we go 
a, a celeb a, I'm getting for the future by the end of April maybe after April you're gonna have the celebratory energy three of cups is at the bottom of the deck I'm gonna show you what I have here for the future it's eight of wands so um forward movement with whatever it is that you implemented you know like the the, the horse the knight of the knight of um, pentacles here is no longer moving at a slow pace it's now moving faster you're now taking the shots eight of wands in the future is taking shots and you don't it doesn't matter if none of these hit but as long as this one hits you're good to go right so i feel like forward movement um you know traveling when it comes to work you're more passionate about it you have more ideas you you want to implement more plans into the the whole process if you're self-employed things are selling things are going great um things are moving fast you're talking you're you're advertising you're you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing and and that everything is working out okay um don't overindulge <laughs> and i also this this to me is like my celebratory card as well as um uh it could be also that you know you're out there having fun and, and drinking it out with the you know with the crew um be careful i always say please don't drink and drive that's very important for to me and for me please don't drink and drive we always have um you, you get in trouble but we always have we have like accidents where people pass away right so please i wouldn't want that for you so please don't drink and drive it's very, very strong coming up for for you um take an uber find a ride i don't know um i feel like everything's gonna flow um by the end of, of april i think everything's gonna move forward um you're gonna have a lot of ideas and plans towards work towards love and or you know towards what you do as a passion so you, you don't even have to be getting paid but whatever it is that you do as a passion i think you're gonna start doing more more often especially because we're in the states where we're in the springtime and you know it's it's getting warmer things you know getting better <laughs> even for me so i feel like this is going on for you taurus um i hope that makes sense i'm gonna get you an oracle just to see what kind of energy you're gonna be in the month of april 2023 here we go Ooh. here we go bravely mark your magic there you go look at that beautiful card bravely oh no bravely market your magic I'm talking about you know like um your business and stuff like that if you're self-employed bravely market your magic okay don't worry about this don't worry about this loss this is it's gonna be fine okay you're probably gonna treat yourself to something maybe if you're a photographer you're gonna get you a better camera although that's spending money on you and, and what you like that's gonna pay off in the end okay but you gotta keep consistent you remember the Knight of Pentacles is consistency, so you gotta you gotta keep that going, okay? Bravely mark your magic. Bravely mark your magic. Jeez, I don't know what's going on with me. Thirty nine. Let's see. Um, essential meaning: uh, bravery, honesty, taking a leap of faith in your advertising, showing up as you and only you, sharing your essence with the world. So, showing up as you and only you. At the beginning of the uh, reading, we have we had the the unique self. So April is they're they're pushing you to be yourself, okay? And if you don't if you don't like that, remember that you know greatness, um, success, um, and everything else comes um, once you leave that comfort zone. So if you're comfortable and 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 and, and you don't want to, you feel uncomfortable being out there. They they want you to be yourself, but out there, okay? Be who you really are, especially with this one. Briefly market your, your magic, you know. That's what I have for you. I hope that made sense. Don't worry, I'm going to make more videos if this did not resonate. Thank you so much for watching. I am taking donations because um, as soon as I get um, monetized, I'm going to donate that to the Smile Train. And or come hang out with me on Fridays and Saturdays, possibly. I do free uh, live readings um, for donations because we're, um, yeah, we're going to donate that to the smile train and make some babies happy or smile better. Thank you.